Hey everyone. Uh, it's been a couple days since I've uploaded a video. I've been crazy busy with these trainees they've been sending me. So I just want to say hi. Uh, I've loved all the videos I've caught up on. Um, I wanted to say hello to all my new subscribers and then I wanted to say thank you because for some reason over this last week they've like doubled. Um, probably because a lot of the people I've chatted with and um, I've gotten quite a few shout outs from uh, people and I really really appreciate it. I love you guys. It's been great for my spirit. I'm working on not saying um all the time. You would think I train people five I, groups of 500 and I, I'd be over that um part of talking but I'm working on it. So let's see if I can get through the whole video without saying one. I wanted to show some of my uh, smaller pieces that I finished, some that are in transition and I need a little help. Give me some ideas what to do with them because that they've been sitting in the back for a while and I don't know what to do with them. And then I have a 16 by 20 that I did a couple weeks ago. I'm playing with some new texture and some new, uh, ooh, there's one, <laughs> some new stencils. Um, oh, there it goes again. Ugh, I'm going to break that habit. So I, I, I need something to add to it. I think it's missing something. I kind of feel like it's complete, but I don't know if it's complete. So. Here's one I call heart strings, and I apologize for the light. I kind of turned it off because I like to kind of glaze them in between some of the layers just to keep the, the paint bright and then um, at, oof, there it goes again. I'm gonna break that habit. So this is, uh, I call it heart strings. I don't know if that's gonna come out great. Um, ooh, there it goes again. Shadowed love. One of my favorites, I've been using some of those uh, pigments that I talked about, and I really like how the heart is shadowed here in the background, but still bright, and then it's the skull and these textures and pieces of like textured collage paper, and, and a lot of the mixed colors, I'm not sure that the pigments, I'm not sure that's gonna come out great, but it looks, uh, <laughs> I'm never gonna break that habit, <laughs> so forget it. It's gonna come out, it comes out, it's much better in person, and I really love this one. I call it running heart but it almost looks like the heart is drowning so it's one of my uh, current favorites very simple it's a lot of texture work and layers but uh, it's so simple and I, and I love it and then I last week I put a video up that I got Gary Reef's uh, Capricorn out of 73 stencil and this is one of the works that I did with this stencil and I'm very 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 happy with it I'm not sure that's coming out great but it's fantastic um, and I think that stencil does all the work um, on top of my textures. I call it fire and water because I love it. It's like she's drowning in this blue water here and then she's on fire over here. And they're kind of facing each other. It's kind of that contrast of fire and water. They almost can't go together, right? Uh, some textures. Um, I, I gotta get some of these posted on how I make these, but I, I really love how some of these came out and um, <laughs> I'm looking forward to putting something on these. I'm laughing at that um, I'm never going to get rid of it, huh? So, just great. I'm, some of these I'm playing with and I still have to add some stuff to it. Uh, let's see. These are the ones that are in transition, which there's like three of them that are driving me crazy that have been sitting uh, for a couple weeks and I just, I look at them and I can't figure out what in the world to do with them. So, uh... I put some gel medium on here, let it dry, and I, this is metallic paints mixed with some of those metallic pigments, and I, I'm not sure it's going to come out, but I really, it's really metallic-y, and I, it's something I'm playing with now, a lot of metallics and the heart, and I kind of screwed up here, it got stuck to another painting, and I tore it away, so I'm going to work on that one, but any ideas, hmm? textures, something else that should go on here, I'm trying to expand on my hearts, uh, this is like a... I took that Spawn character, uh, if you're familiar with Marvel or Spawn, and created like a stencil on Photoshop and transposed it onto here. And I'm really happy with it. I'm kind of happy with the way it looks, but it just, it needs something. I don't know, something to brighten it up or whatnot. I'm, I'm not sure what to do with it. So input on that one. And then I'm doing like a whole Greek god, Greek goddess series where I'm gonna use stencil work and maybe some hand painting and some acrylic painting by hand. but. I took a Medusa statue or painting statue image I found online and transposed it onto uh, a stencil work. And 
this is what it came out with. I'm not sure that you can really see her that well, but she's, this is like her hair, Medusa hair, and then she's screaming, and, and the picture's very vivid, and the stencil came out good, but I'm not really sure. It needs some kind of depth. I don't know if it's because there's no actual texture other than layers of paint in the background or, or whatnot, so. Eric needs help with that one. Pagan art guy can't figure out those three, so. One of them might be, I mean, the spawn one I'm kind of happy with. And I'm really happy with this texture, but I might remove that heart. I might do what I see a lot of people do, just paint over it white and then go with something new. Go with gay hand weight. Uh, and then I'm going to show you the one that I have. It's been sitting here for a couple weeks, and I've just, I'm happy with it, and I kind of think that it's done. But it, I, it, like, the painting says, I want more. I want something else. So, um, that's the one I'm really concerned about because I'd like to create a uh, small series on that too eventually, but, uh, and incorporate that thing in other things. Uh, the thing is a phoenix, I created a stencil, and uh, I'm gonna try and hand paint some of them too. Um, I really need to incorporate other than for my textures. I do all my textures by hand, um, spackling and, and hand painting with acrylics and metallic acrylics and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm trying to get away from some stencil work, but I'm really like in love with it right now because it just gives such depth to my work. Um, that's about 15,000 ums. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna show you this painting. <laughs> Come with me. So, um, it's kind of the phoenix rising out and into fire, and it's got this bleeding heart. And I've used uh, Capricorn Artist uh, Rose Stencil up here, and it, it came out fantastic. I really like the way that the flames um, blend into his rose stencil. I mean, it, it came out perfect. And, and I love the texture, but it's kind of... I don't know, it says I need something. I, I don't really know what it's saying. It might be complete and it just might be me needing to look at it for a while, um, but I'm not sure. And don't mind the mess on my desk because that's where I work and blah, 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 blah. So I wanted to put that video out. What else? I also wanted to say that uh, I really need to get some techniques up. Uh, I keep saying that I'm going to. I've been trying to work with that crackle paste that I said I was going to put a technique on and it just it didn't work out that great when I put it on canvas. It's supposed to be put on a hard surface so I thought I could put it on canvas and then do some work over it but I don't know if it's because I used my heat gun and it didn't bind well to the thing but I painted something and then <laughs> I came back uh, after being away for a couple days uh, traveling and half the painting was on the ground in the art room. It just all peeled and fell off, regardless of how many, there were like six layers of paint, I think. It didn't matter, and I think maybe I cooked it with the heat gun, but uh, <laughs> it was quite comical. I actually thought something got at it or, or something happened, maybe it, like I had a leak in the basement where I work. Um, so I'm gonna try and keep working with that crackle medium and that, but I've got other stuff that I want to do, like I do stuff with salt and, and trippers and stuff, and I show you my artwork, but I never show you how to do it. So I'm gonna try and improve on that, and on the ums, obviously, that I can't get past. So, uh, ooh, it wasn't an um, it was more like an uh. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon, and uh, I'm gonna upload a couple videos that I've been holding off on, especially the one from camping where. These squirrels like attack my site and steal my stuff. Um, there goes another one. I, I'm gonna so break that habit. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, love you all. Stay good and remember you're beautiful. Give of yourself and want nothing in return, and you'll lead lead a very good life. Peace.